Ed got the golden ticket. Just kidding. Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for joining in tonight. Today's video is, I don't know what to expect from it. I mentioned during the November Ipsy, I think it was the Glam Bag Plus box, or maybe it was the regular Glam Bag, I don't remember. One of them I received, and literally that day I had received a an email from Ipsy saying that they were going to do a mystery bag on Black Friday, and I was like, we should try and get one of those. So I kind of had forgotten about it, was doing a bunch of other buying, and honest to God, right now I think I have like seven or eight boxes sitting in my room for like one mega haul that we're gonna do from like all the Black Friday and Cyber Monday stuff. But it was it's just gonna be a lot to film it, so I didn't wanna do that tonight. But we received this when I came home, when we got home, this was sitting on the step and I was like, well, I guess we're gonna do this one tonight. So this is the little Ipsy um, Black Friday special. I have no idea what to expect from it. It was like $14. The little container is gold, obviously, instead of the pink that they've changed it to, which I like, I think it's very festive, so I was a fan of that. And the bag itself is very cute. Just a nice little shimmery iridescent like blue. It reminds me of almost like, it's almost identical to that like green one, the hunter green one we got a couple months, maybe September. But it is in this really nice iridescent color. And uh, of course I always like their bag. So very cute, but I have no idea what to expect. I think we're getting five minis in it, but I, who knows? It was $14, that's all I, that's all I know. So, oh. Okay, so actually it looks like one product is at least there's at least one full size one. Now, just upon initial inspection, it looks like stuff that I have received in other boxes, unfortunately. So maybe a lot of giveaway stuff, but nonetheless, we shall see. So the first thing I got was, I did not, I've not received this. Oh, something's definitely broken in here. This is covered in product. Oh, this is good. This is going well. Anyway, we'll just, we'll come across that when we come across that. So the first thing I got is an Aptu skincare balancing mask with, it looks like it's got uh, chlorella, which is like, that's like chloroform. It's like a chloroform type substance, I believe. Uh, I said chloroform, didn't I? Oh, gee. <laughs> you did, in fact, say chloroform. <laughs> I'm so tired right now. Why did I say chloroform? Uh, yeah, <laughs> apparently we've been watching too much Mindhunters. Anyway, it's got that in green tea, so that's, it's, let's figure out what's broken in here. Ooh, it's this. That sucks, because it's the turmeric shade! And the one that I didn't get, look at, it's absolutely destroyed. I mean, it's like, it's dest it's destroyed, guys. Like, I, there's, it's not even in the box. It's not even in the box. That's highly disappointing because I actually really wanted that shade and um, I'm pretty sure if I emailed them and tell them I received a broken product, I'm not going to get that one exactly. I'm really sad right now. This is this is not, over. overall this is not going so well, just saying. First of all, I can't read. Second of all, that's just the saddest thing that I've ever received in a Nipsey. Um, I can't even pick it up really to show you, like I, I don't think I can open it. I mean, there's virtually nothing in it anyway. It's all on the outside of the box. So it's just, let's swatch it to see. I couldn't even swatch it because it's chunky. But that's what it looks like. It's just everywhere. I look like I look like one of those people who paint themselves gold and dance in the middle of the street. Which what? not not gonna lie, as an artist, I've considered doing that. <laughs> I'm so was so upset right now. I don't even think I can be the one to email them. I'm so upset. Anyway, uh, we also have this Pixie by Petra blush. I did receive one of these actually. This came in. Um, one of my boxes a couple months back and it actually arrived broken so I had to get a replacement of that. But this one is not broken and I do have a replacement of it. I'm gonna make sure it's the same shade but if it is the same shade then I'm going to definitely throw that into a giveaway because that is a nice little uh, thing to have in here. Uh, I also got, and I know I received this one as well, I think it's the same shade once again. I'm not positive because I don't have them on hand to remember. I have to like go back and um, and check. This is the Rodeo Drive highlighter from Opera. Actually, it is one of their original, like their OG staple ones. And I was gonna say like, I definitely have this one, but my Rodeo Drive I've been using for like almost two years now. And so it's very close to empty. Like it's one of the few highlighters that I have that I fully hit pan on. There's just like a little bit on the outside. So I actually probably will wind up saving this for myself because um, I know I will use it eventually. And I know it's one of my favorite shades from them. So that's actually a really nice asset, even though it's not a new color for me because I do need to replace mine soon. This is actually like kind of worthwhile. I got Glow for a Cause Lip Love Flirt. It looks like a like a little chapstick that may give you like just a little bit of like dewiness to your 
your lips. It, it, it's like pink, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's kind of like a nice little thing to throw in there. And then it's also looking like we got a uh, Thrive Cosmetics mascara, which I am never going to complain about because I do like getting mascaras. It's a pretty little teal bottle. And then the wand itself is like kind of an angle. I, if I recall correctly, I believe my mom actually received this one and I made a comment about how I liked the, the brush on it. So I'm kind of excited about that. That's all that's in there. I know it's a quick video. Um, a really quick video because there's just not a lot. Normally I'm comparing mine and my mom's and she didn't get one. So it's just my bag this time. Do I think it was worth it? To be honest, a thousand percent honest, I don't think it was worth it. Um, it's a lot of the same kind of recycled stuff that you've seen throughout the year. Obviously what they have an influx of. Getting the Suva eyeshadow in the shade turmeric would have been really exciting for me because that is the one that I wanted when I received. I think I received like a purple shade and that was the one I was hoping I was going to get. The fact that it is absolutely annihilated. This is the second makeup product I've opened today alone that has been just destroyed. So I'm kind of upset about that. I really like, it just puts me in such a bad mood when I receive broken products. So you guys got to witness it. Yay. The Rodeo Drive, actually the, pit, the Pixie blush is great too, except I've already received it. The Rodeo Drive is great. And then like all the other things in there are kind of like cool. Do I think it was worth paying an extra $14? No. I just don't. So maybe like it's a good, it's good in theory, but I, I think if you've been doing Ipsy for the full year, you're probably going to wind up seeing what I've seen here, which is that you've gotten a lot of recycled products or products that you've seen in months past. So I understand the, the appeal of it. It just is not worthwhile in my opinion. So that is my, uh, re my little unboxing and review of the, uh, Ipsy Black Friday bag. Again, that's what the bag looks like. The bag itself is really cute. This is what my absolutely destroyed product looks like. It is not really cute. It is just sitting here in front of me causing me so much sadness. And um, I really think I'm going to make Nikki email him because I'm, just too, just too, I'm just too sad to do it. So, yay. Here's a nice look. There's a positive video for your night. You're welcome. You're welcome, the world. Anyway, um, like I said, tomorrow morning we're planning on doing at least part one of the unboxing for the Black Friday stuff. That video will be extremely long. I can't imagine it's going to be anything less than like 30 minutes because we've done nothing but spend money for the past like two weeks straight. I still have a couple boxes that I'm waiting on. We're still trying to figure out what the hell is going on with Jeffree Star stuff because we ordered like three times from him and I think only like part of one went through. So we don't even know anymore. So... Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great night. If you like the video, I don't know why because it was super depressing today, but uh, please give it a thumbs up. It does help the channel. And if you haven't subscribed to the page, please do so. We post a lot of really cool content and this is just kind of like a little factor of what we normally do. And it's a little bit more negative. So uh, check out some other stuff if you didn't like this one. Sorry. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful night and stay early with a dark twist.